Hey friends, we are about to check out Edmonton's market stats for new home construction. This is the only place on YouTube you can get new home construction stats. Hey everybody, my name is Leanna Martins and I'm an Edmonton real estate agent. And I would encourage you to stick around to the end because if you do, I'm gonna take you on a tour of new home construction sold in Edmonton and surrounding area. And it's gonna give you an idea of what you actually get for your money and you're gonna find out what the price was. So you can figure out, are you gonna be paying above market, below market or at list price? And don't forget, if you were considering a relocation to Edmonton and you need some help, that's exactly what we do. So reach out, the information is in the description below and me and my team are going to get back to you and subscribe for more information just like this to help you make a smart decision before you make such a big move. Let's get moving on November 26th to December 2nd, market stats. We are gonna start with the Edmonton and area sold map. So here's the Edmonton and area sold map and there are 31 sold, new home construction sold homes in Edmonton and surrounding area in the last seven days. Yeah, so the reason I do Edmonton and area is when you were looking at Edmonton to consider it as a relocation, uh, you're always, looking to learn. So you might be considering St. Albert or anything that's around Edmonton. So it's Bruce Grove, Stony Plain, St. Albert, uh, Leduc, Beaumont, and Sherwood Park. So all of the surrounding area I have included in here, I haven't included Fort Saskatchewan because I never placed anybody out there. Uh, it's very small and there really isn't a lot of amenities. So this is what we've got. And you can see this is the Anthony Ande. So all of new home construction, you will find the vast majority, like 98% of it, with the exception of infills, uh, is outside because they're buying new land outside of the Ande. So that is where it's located. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at the actual sold prices, and then I'll let you know where it is. So sold for Spruce Grove, for example, with the average price, sold for St. Albert, and so on. This is the sold price analysis. So this is going to let you know, and this is critically important for you guys to understand, because you have to understand what should I expect to pay on average in terms of the list price and actual sold price. So we're gonna start with Edmonton. In Edmonton, there was 23 solds, and it's it's honestly very relatively consistent. It typically is right around 98%. So this means that sellers got about 98% of their list price. You can see there's a couple outliers here. Here's Orchards. That was 102%. So likely that was competed, that was contested. There was more than one person that came to the table. Same thing here is another one, 102%, 107%, and then some at list price. And you can see some as low as 92, which is very, 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 very uncommon. Um, but your overall average is gonna be about 98%. Then you've gotta uh, rely on your real estate expert to be able to guide you in each one of those specific situations to see where the opportunity lies and how you need uh, to approach it for your win. Now in Leduc, uh, they're 97%. So lower, uh, and the average price point there was 473. Sorry, the average price in Edmonton was 598, so that was higher. <coughs> Leduc County, we've got Leduc and Leduc County. Leduc County only 90, 96%, which is low. Uh, but it had, this was uh, likely an estate and an acreage lot, 949,000. So then Parkland, this is 109%. Uh, they got $570,000, what? So that sold over list price day one. If something's well priced, that's exactly what happens. It competes, sells immediately, and it looks like it was a cash sale. So that's why it was within a day. Spruce, you've got the average sold, sold price of uh, 5525 sorry, 552 and a sold to list price ratio of 91%, which is low. And then moving into St. Albert, the average sold to list uh, price range was 96%. Sellers only got 96%. So that's low. Interesting what's happened there this last. Oh, there was one that was low that brought the average down. The rest were 98 and 99. Okay. Uh, so that just gives you the overall average of 98% sold to list price ratio. Now I'm going to choose one of these and we are going to take you on a tour. Stay tuned. I have here a Leduc property and I chose this one because uh, the sold to list price ratio was a little off. It was lower than I would have expected. So list price was 555 and uh, sold price is 532. 
So I wanted to have a look and, and you know, dig in a little bit deeper to see where that, why that may have occurred. So this is uh, an open to below. This price point is comparative to Spruce Grove. Uh, not the sole though. The sole price is actually lower. Spruce is gonna be around 550. Uh, so exactly which is where it was priced. And I think I discovered why. So your square footage here is almost 2300. Um, let's have a look at the inside. This is what I think. And we're back in here. So you got the double attached front garage, and then you're gonna have the bonus room above. Main floor, this is the office. So this guy, um, a lot of the newer builders have moved away, like this gray, monotone, dark gray, gray floors, and white color palette. The newest builders over this last year have been updating this and warming up the floors and getting away from some of this gray, right? So, and especially that darker gray. So this would be like an organic uh, hardwood, right? And then this, would, that is wood, but it's still quite dark. So this is what I suspect has happened. So this is a very unique, especially the boldness of that frame around the fireplace. It isn't going all the way up, which, is, which has been pretty traditional over the last couple of years, but it was uh, elegant and it was, if depending on the type of tile, uh, this is a very bold tile. And then you mix that also with the flooring. Uh, this could turn somebody off, right? So it's, people are gonna hate it or I think that they're going to love it. And uh, same thing in here where you have, there's just a lot of mixed, mix mash between these three different. Uh, so I don't know if they used a designer, if this was a smaller builder that did it themselves, but that's my personal opinion is that's what uh, occurred here in terms of the days on market and why it was longer. I think that the design, like the built-ins are great, uh, but I think perhaps the color palette um, may have been what it was that turned people off and the tile selection. But outside of that, it's all pretty standard just in terms of the design, right? That's what you're gonna notice is all these builders are using like very, 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 very similar floor plans, right? And build templates. Then you got the feature wall and then they're using, uh, I'm really liking seeing a little more creative design in the tile selection here, which is great. Like in terms of like bathroom, bath tiles. <laughs> but it still has to match the other tile that's chosen. Cool. So they've done black, white, and gray throughout, and it looks like a dark brown. Uh, thank goodness, hardwood banister, which warms it up a bit. They do have a side entrance. I'm hey, thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe below so you don't miss any more of my great Edmonton content. Thanks so much for uh, coming along on that tour with me and then also just watching all the way through. I hope you really got the value that I'm intending to provide for you, which is really understanding Edmonton new home construction pricing, understanding locations, understanding how location affects pricing, and then understanding uh, kind of what you can expect uh, when you're moving into this market. So my name is Leanna Martins, local Edmonton real estate expert. Uh, if you are looking to relocate, I am your girl. Me and my team specialize in exactly what you're looking for. So if you have any questions about communities, schools, um, subdivisions, prices, uh, moving costs, that's exactly what we do. So make sure that you send me a message. So go into the description, you're gonna see all the information you need to reach out to us direct and we will get back to you. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching.